God bless y'all. My name is Jonathan K.O. All right, I just want to make a quick shout out to Shalom for you seven seven seven. Um, I just had a dream yesterday. Actually, today, um, I wasn't gonna give it, and I'm still not gonna give most of it because the majority of it has to do with what God is giving me for this situation that I'm at. The reason why I haven't been, I'm not gonna say the reason, but I haven't been getting a lot of prophetic words concerning, you know, world stuff and events and stuff like that. But what God has been giving me currently is for what has been for my church that I'm at. I don't even like saying my church, but the church that I'm at. Because I don't have a church. I don't have a pastor. And I come to the understanding that I never really almost did have a pastor other than maybe, you know, okay, for a fact when I was in prison, okay, and then when I um, came home from prison, uh, I was under a, a pastor who really, God used me to help. I mean, God used me to help, but her to help me also. Amen. And um, see, I said her. So, um, I mean, I was under the whole types of different ministries. But the thing is that this, um, you know, uh, man. I don't have a pastor. It is what it is. Christ is my head. You know, he's my covering. The 21st century church preaches that you know you must have a church home. Um, the church means assembly. I mean, you know, I'm sent. Like my situation, I'm sent to go to a church and give a word. Like I live in D.C. If y'all see me coming to y'all church, there's a problem. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so far as from, from what I know, there's a problem. If God sent me to your church, there's a problem. And usually I don't know why I'm there until after a while. You know, the Holy Ghost will start to minister to me. And sometimes I have put it like this. He'll tell me, but I have to catch up with him because I'm like, oh, that's what he meant. You know what I mean? So, like currently right now, I'm going to just give y'all this word back. Here you go. Uh... Churches with grants, okay? Now, shalom for you, 777. Okay, God bless you. You know, God just used you to give me a confirmation because you don't know I just had this dream last night. Okay, now this dream was about churches. This, not about churches, but about the church that I'm currently at. I'm there to rebuke. I'm there to give words. I'm there to prophesy. They already don't like me, you know what I'm saying? It's already going down, you know. My brother just got kicked out. My brother's a prophet of the Lord too, and it's a lot of crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? But um, all I'm gonna say is this: like, you know, last night the dream that I had, I'm gonna try to figure out how I could word around it. Uh, I saw the man the manipulation. I saw, you know, the arrogance and stuff like that with the leaders and stuff like that. And I'm gonna just talk about that briefly. And I and upon me seeing that uh. They were boasting, okay? Now, in them boasting, basically, they said, you know, they, they came upon some land, okay? When they came upon this land, okay? And it was way more that happened, trust me. It was way more. But when they came upon this land, amen, that I was already at, I was defending this woman, amen? And when they came upon this land, it was uh, basically... um. These leaders, like I said, at this at this church that I currently attend, when they came upon this land, they was like, oh, they wanted to be heard. They was like, oh, yeah, we could afford this. They was real loud, real boisterous. Oh, yeah, we could afford this. Yeah, we'll get we'll get land here now. We'll 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 we'll, we'll settle here and we'll get land here. Immediately when they said that, okay, immediately when they said that, I heard the Holy Ghost say, uh, um first of all he said record of offense amen because they're in error amen and so I was like wow hold up you know what I mean but then after that he he told me these churches he said the church gets grants for for churches the pastor gets grants for churches amen and so I'm just warning y'all amen because because of the uh because Shalom for you seven 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 because of what you just sent to me, Amen. I didn't ask my confirmation to just let y'all know, listen, okay. 
this in time okay you can look at all my old videos that that's pertaining to this topic this in time message concerning you know like I gave y'all the words that God gave me to tell y'all about the new world order taking over these churches and is manifesting right now okay um some things that I don't even remember that the Lord gave me I gotta go back and look at the videos so I'm not gonna just randomly say stuff but um he showed me a lot of different stuff a lot of compromise a lot of just Satan inside the church and part of this you getting a grant to create a church is like you siding with Pharaoh to like help your ministry you know what I'm saying it's like you siding with you know you know with King Herod to be your ruler you know you want to seek after you know uh I don't know you know what I mean you want Ray Boehm you know you don't want who God has for you you know what I mean and so you know these churches you guys got to get on Christ's side because Christ is the head of your church okay um when you go to get grants from the government you know this government is wicked okay and they're gonna cause you to recognize which side will I be on because it's gonna be illegal to not marry homosexuals it's gonna be illegal to speak against homosexuality it's gonna be illegal to you know reverence Jesus and holiness and repentance and you know condemning sin and you know not justifying the unfruitful works of the flesh you know what I mean it's gonna be illegal it's gonna be it's just gonna be like you know either gonna be true or you're gonna be false okay so you know what I'm saying I mean this is this has to do this has to do with like getting grants okay you're depending on you know like you're depending on Satan you know you either going to depend on Jesus or because Satan is going to come in like a flood he's already came in like a flood okay and so the standard is lifted already you know what I mean so I mean you have to ask yourself am I willing to just not have a church building or am I willing to you know have church service in my living room in my basement you know on a prayer meeting on the phone or or you know at Denny's or you know somewhere in the park you know what I mean in the library like meeting up you know what I'm saying am I willing to do that you know because church is going to be uh not what the American church is used to it's going to be like you know rugged you know army fatigues like you know what I'm saying it's gonna be what you not comfortable with you know what I mean like you know what I'm saying it's gonna be on the streets you know the church is gonna be hidden the church is gonna be in the cut you know in the alleyway like is you ready for this like are you ready for this you feel me are you ready for church in the park you know are you ready for church while you're heating up your hands over you know a fiery trash can like are you ready for that because if not bow down you know what I'm saying bow down you know what I'm saying get ready to get molested and raped by Satan you know because you're about to be you know sexually molested by demons and and you're about to be sexually you know uh, stripped you know you know you're gonna be shameful and naked okay it is what it is so you have to know this this is a word of the Lord okay um because the Lord has been giving me more words right now currently in this season particularly for the church that I'm assigned to I'm go I go there like I said to rebuke to do this to do that to correct to say ah that's false it's a guy at my church right now He's a minister. He preaches that Noah was a drunk. Period. Like he didn't preach that Noah drunk and was drunken. He preaches that Noah was a drunk. 
he says drunk herd okay you know what I'm saying like and this can cause people to stumble I know who I was when I was in my sin if you tell me that Noah was a drunk I'm gonna say bet I'm all right I already had crack in my pocket when I was tell you know when I was going to church as a sinner you know my mother I used to go to church with her you know what I'm saying off the Union Temple you know off of Good Hope I'm from Good Hope Road you know what I'm saying and I would go over there to her church you know what I'm saying walking past letting her know like you know it might be a shootout it might you know it might be beef going on ma on our way to church you know cause we was walking at that time you know I'm just letting you know ma like if you see somebody if you see two people come up to me it look like they trying to fight me or whatever you know just step off you know just step off cause it is where it's going down you know and, and I got crack on me I'm not telling her that but you know this is what it was. So I knew I would justify myself in my sin because I go to church on Sunday, so I'm all right. See, what the church is doing right now, I heard the Lord say this. And I, and I man, forgive me, y'all, because I haven't really given y'all words that the Lord has been telling me. Uh, and I guess it's because I'm looking at it like it's pertaining to just where I'm at. But it's also pertaining to, you know, it's just to edify y'all, man. Let me let y'all know what the Holy Ghost told me the other day. He said to me, um, what day was this? This was on the 25th. He said, you skip around salvation to focus on membership. Okay? This was on the 26th of September. Amen? I'm letting y'all know, like, this is real, man. It's real. Okay? And, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for all y'all prophets out there, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you say you're a prophet. You know what I'm saying? Are you ready for this? Are you ready to speak? Because they don't be feeling good, you know? You got happy, nice-looking people smiling. You got to tell them, hey, man, you false, man. You know what I'm saying? You need to repent. You know, God just gave me a word for you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they smile. You know, they got dimples. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then they nice according to, you know, <laughs> put it like this. They nice until you give them that word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, they ain't walking in no, you know, they ain't walking in that, they're not walking like that no more. Now they're like, you know what I mean? Nah, I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. You know what I'm saying? Nah, get up out of here. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. Yeah, let me see what kind of love you got. Yeah. <laughs> let me see that manifestation of that Holy Ghost love you be preaching about. You see what I'm saying? Because now I'm about to give a word until you listen, man. You know, the Lord is telling me this. Woo, woo, woo. Like, I had to tell the church, listen, you about to shut down. Okay, the Lord is telling me that y'all about to shut down. You know, about two to three weeks no long, more than four weeks later, the church shut down, okay? You know what I'm saying? These are the things that goes on. Are you ready to tell or are you just going to sit back with your prophetic words? Because if you're a prophet and you're not giving prophecy, then you're not operating as a prophet, okay? And see, I don't know, like, like a lot of people also, they like, well, you know, the church is false, so I don't go to church no more. No, 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 go to church. Ask God, God, do you have for me to go? Because see, Jer 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 uh, Jeremiah, all these... These guys, they was prophesying, they was witnessing, they was telling people, man. They weren't just on the streets, they was even going in the church, see. You got to also go in the church. Apostle Paul, Peter, they wasn't just on the streets, they was also going in the church. See, yeah, I'm on the street, yeah. Y'all probably figure that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm on the street, but guess what? I also got to go in the church. You got to go in the church. Because they lost in the church just like they in the streets lost. You know, so I just want to encourage y'all to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? If you're a prophet... You know, I'm going to rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus and let you know, like, don't be sitting on no prophetic words. You know, God ain't admiring that. You know, the blood is on your hands. You know, if you know that somebody, man, I heard, you know, in the, in the early time of my prophetic ministry, the Holy Spirit told me, he said, admonish the sinner with the God they love. And that was the first time I really was like, whoa, I mean, I heard the Holy Ghost before, you know, audibly. But that was like, hold on, like, you know, after a while when it sizzles and fizzles, you don't hear them no more like that. And you like, you know, it's kind of feel like it might not happen again. And it happened again. you like, bam, hold up. What was that? You know what I mean? Whoa. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, you got to rebuke, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, rebuke means to correct. You got to correct. You got to, and it's love. You know what I'm saying? I just had to tell the pastor, like, you know, the other day. Like, you know, and people think, and see, I'm going to tell you, like, you know, I'm not just some dude just coming in the church to sit down, like, you know what I'm saying? You don't know, you gotta know who these people are, you know, in y'all church. They could be a prophet sitting right there. You thinking they here to learn. Or because, you know, 
they come in here with little t-shirt and jeans that they need the Lord or something. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know who these people are. You know? Because I ain't even about to be there in long, probably, probably five months, six, seven months, eight months, a year, maybe less, maybe a little more. And then God got me moving somewhere else. He's like, Psh, boom, go there. You know, I'm like, oh, what, where? <laughs> and then he shows me here, here, no, there. You know, and matter of fact, you know, the God is like, I already showed you in that dream, remember? You just didn't know it was here. And now you realize it's here. And it was already there, but I had you here first. You know, he will show you where you're supposed to be way before you even go there. You know, you still, God be stacking visions on people, man. He stacked visions on me. People be like, you know, pray to God about what he give you. Yeah, I pray to him. That don't mean he going to tell me right away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might have to wait. <laughs> You know, and don't just run to the internet to find out what he's talking about. Because the Lord, he don't need no, you know, typewriter, computer mediator. You know, nah, seek him. You know, it's not easy, man. You know, you got to wait on the Lord. But, um, yeah, man, back to this, this, you know, you can't not, you can't see these, these people who are after churches. These people who, then listen, the Lord told me, he said, these people are motivated by money. You understand? A lot of these people getting grants from churches and stuff. They're motivated by money. They're not really concerned about the will of God. You understand? I'm just going to rebuke you if you fit this category. You understand? You're not, you're not ready. You got to repent. You got to have... You cannot be a lover of money. Amen. Bishop. You know, you cannot be a lover of money. You just can't. You can't. Okay? You cannot serve the Lord and mammon. Amen. You're going to be slave to one or the uh, and hate the other. Okay? Um money is the root of many evils, many types of evil, okay? For the love of money is the root of many types of evil, okay? The love of it. You cannot love money. Amen. You can enjoy it, but you can't love it. Amen. And so, you know, a lot of these people, they have, they have the wrong motives, amen. Their, their motives are focused on, you know, membership. Their motives are focused on their new big church. Why you want a big church? You only ain't got no people in your church. <laughs> you got five, six, ten people flat come every Sunday. Fifteen people every Sunday. Twenty people to the most. And you want a big old church. You see, your mind is focused off carnal you know, whack things. You just whack. You know what I'm saying? And and God ain't in that, man. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And man, I love you. You know, and I'm and I hope you come out of it. And, and like my brother say, step into a slim gym. I hope you come out of that because you don't have the mind of Christ. Your mind is focused on a competition. These churches compete with each other. Do you hear pastors talking? You know how pastors talk with each other. These pastors like, you know, this pastor got a church over here, yeah. That's how they talk. Oh yeah, this pastor got this different membership. Oh yeah. Oh they're they yeah, oh their choir is large. Their choir is in you know, their choir is alright. You know what I'm saying? They oh yeah, oh yeah, they yeah, they got a you know, they got a parking lot, you know what I'm saying? Like their focus is off. You know, my grandfather Lord, please help him. He's got an elevator in the church and he preaching falsehood you understand he preaching with no love no grace no mercy you understand I mean come on you know <laughs> you know what I mean and he got he focused on the elevating the church and little stuff like that that stuff is garbage you understand Man, we gotta get saved man we gotta get filled with the Holy Ghost we gotta have a heart eager for the will of the Lord you see King David uh was a man after God's own heart. Amen. He was a shepherd. Amos was a shepherd. If you're going to be a shepherd, amen, man, you got to you got to feed the flock. Feed the flock, repentance and holiness. Amen. Stop your focus is on getting grants from the government. The government is controlled by the god of this world. Amen. The God of this world, lowercase g, amen, Satan, the prince of the power of the air, 